you guys uh, today I'm gonna be showing you how to repair your broken speaker in a uh, pair of beat studios um, these are uh, white beat studios it you uh, actually can do this with any version of beats uh, headphones but I, I have the studios I'm assuming that you know you can use it for all of them but I know all the, that usually the speaker designs are di different in all the different models so you know, if it doesn't work and you're not using studios, you know, there, there's your disclaimer. That's, that's why. The, so, um, you can always try though. Um, so in mine, it's actually the right speaker that's uh, broken. It does not play music, so I can actually just here show you really quick. plays out of that ear, but it doesn't play out of that side, you can't really hear it very well, I know, but, um, yeah, so what I'm going to do, so I'm going to show you how to, do, how to uh, fix your speaker, and actually what I usually prefer to do is leave it plugged in, and leave it plugged in. Um, leave a song running really low so I can just barely hear it and then double in sound and I'll be able to hear it loudly when I fix it. Okay, and I know these are actually not fixed. Okay, so first you're going to take this. Yeah. Put a little cover on the headphone and you're going to want to push it in. So you're going to grab the top. And there's a little hard spot around the edge. You want to grab that and pull it down and up. And you want to do that all the way in and pull it towards you. Okay. So it doesn't work. Okay. I'm always trouble with these. There we go. And once you get two out, the, the other two should come out. Um, and so there's still no sound coming out of here. And this is what it should look like as long as you're using studios. I don't know what it looks like if you're not using studios. So yeah. Um, you've got your speaker. And there should be three screws. One here. I guess you can't really see them. But one here. There's one up there. And there's one up there. So I'm going to go ahead and take those screws up. And I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um... I just finished unscrewing this, and this is what you're going to see when you pull it out. You're going to have your actual speaker is going to come off the front. There's going to be one wire. Make sure not to pull too hard to the rip. There's uh, usually tape there. And then you have a little uh, base dampener. Keeps everything from rattling around. And then down inside of here, you will see the back of the circuit board. Sorry, back there. And those two screws you see there are what we're going to take out next. So, go ahead and do that. And you have to try to keep the uh, screws separate from the ones that go in the front of the they are very similar. The ones that go in the back of the circuit board are slightly smaller, but still similar. So I don't want to lose them either. Alright, and then as soon as you get those two screws out, the uh, back cover with the mute button, or I'll just the back cover on this if you're using the left side, but for mine, it's the back cover with the new button. Um, will fall off, and then you can see your circuit board. And this is the fun part. So, what I do is I actually put this thing back. So, 
so I don't have to worry about the line on that either. And I know that you guys will not want that either. It's very annoying. I don't want to go through the trouble of trying to not let anything break. I've gone through this too many times. Having to hold this uh, on the whole time while I'm working, and it's not fun. Especially when you get to the part of soldering. And I know that some of you must must be wondering why I don't have a soldering iron. Well, because I don't own one. Uh, my uncle has a set, and he will be uh, bringing that out probably a week to get these fixed. For now, um, I will be sticking to them working only on one side. But, yeah, so once uh, it comes out, I'll bring a soldering iron and I'll be able to uh, fix these up. So that'll be awesome. Um, okay, and you don't have to screw them on really tight. Um, yep, so they don't have to be on too tight. And then you're going to still see this, and you're going to have your own button. Working on the right side, you've got your on and off switch. Your mute button is the little black up here. Um, then you've got a bunch of wires that mean absolutely nothing. Um, and I don't know about the left side. I've not done this for the left side. But as far as I know, for the right side, um, to fix this, you need to either use a small copper wire, like in here, and connect it. Which, I mean, obviously not this long, but... Or you can use what I'm using is actually a uh, remote control from a boat, remote control boat, the antenna off of it, and I just cut it and uh, I'm gonna bend it pretty close. And I'm just gonna cut it off about here, so I'm gonna have about that much worth of wire, and that's gonna be connecting uh, two of our. I'm actually gonna go ahead and do that right now. Um, um, ah, there it is. There. Okay, so now we've got a nice little To uh, these short short wires to uh, get it to um, get the right angle. The, the, the connection you want to put here is very close. Okay, I know you don't want to see this, so um, I'm gonna. Go ahead and attempt to get this wire bent, and uh, I'll be right back. Hey guys, I'm back, and uh, I know you know it was just like a couple seconds to you, but uh, it took me ten minutes to get that fixed. So I finally got it bent to the right shape, shape I wanted, and I'm gonna show you what to do now. Okay, so you're gonna take it. You wanna have your circuit board like this, and there are there's a row of wires right here. That should be out in front of you. And you're going to see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7, 8. There are going to be 8 soldered wire connections. 8. 8, remember. Um, and of those 8, you're going to be looking on the left side, which is you know, right here. You're going to be looking right here. And you've got 1, two, three, the second and third from the left when you're looking at it with the power switch on your left and mute button on your left. Second and third over need to be connected. Now if they're already connected, good for you. There's something else wrong with your headphones. I don't know. Leave the video. But um, 
if they're not connected, and you'll be able to tell, there there would be a uh, small wire connecting those two with the solder points, but in mine there's not. So I'm going to take this and just touch it right there. It's still not bent enough. So second and third wire from the left, you're going to touch both of them, you're going to connect them. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. I'm gonna have to use. <laughs> there. And when you connect them both with the solder points, it gets twice as loud. Now it's playing out of both. Now it's playing out of one. Now it's playing out of both. Now it's playing out of one. And so uh, I can't really do much with it right now, but yeah, so when you connect those. Seem to get it with this. Um, let's let's try this out. There. There. That's both. Now they're both playing. And so uh, you're essentially gonna take some sort of small wire and kind of lay it out over the circuit circuit board like this, so that it's uh, laying down like right here. And now you would solder those two edges and it would be hanging out over. And then uh, you'll put everything back on and they'll both work. Um, and when, it, as long as you have good connection, um, it should never come off. And then I'm going to attempt to get this out of the circuit board. Um, but yeah, so all you have to do then is solder the wires to those two points, the second and third solder connection from the left. And uh, you'll be good. And then I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to put it back together. Um, so first of all, so once you're done with that, you're obviously going to let it run. Want to let it cool down first. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and unscrew all of the screws on the front speaker that you put back on. And if you didn't, I'm sorry, but I'm going to do it again. Number to keep track of those screws. Um, okay, so next you're gonna take your back cover and uh, stick it back on here. Like so. Okay. There you go. Like this, and you put it back on. If you're doing the right side, the left side, I don't know. But it should just be flat with you know, a little ring, empty ring on the left side. And now you're going to flip this up and put. Shoot, I'm just trying to get that off. Right. And you're going to put your uh, two small screws back in that hold the circuit board. And you do want to be careful when you're doing this because if you press too hard when you're screwing these in, and uh, I speak from, sadly, I speak from experience, if you put, press too hard, I mean, it wasn't on a pair of beats, but I did break the circuit board in uh, an old. Uh, Really old pair of some old drones, so crap. But they're broken kind of like this, and I uh, took some stuff off that was working through the circuit boards and uh, tried to put a screw back in, and I'd uh, stabbed straight through the circuit board and broke it for good. And so, not only do you want to not push hard, but you also don't really want to screw it in that tight. Like, once, I mean, you know, you want to give it some pressure, but you don't want to. Hard. Turn it a little bit more, but 
Um, okay, let's do that. Let's put your little inside dampener back in. Maybe, maybe not. that just need to put your uh, speaker deck on put your line up this few holes and, then, and uh, you're gonna put these screws back in and I'm going to uh, go ahead and pause the video and I'll be right back okay I'm back and um, I got all the screws back in and you do want to make sure that this is nice and tight you want to check all the connections to the screws, make sure everything's on tight, check the back, make sure it's on tight, and then um, always, always double check that the ring around in here, uh, the uh, foam, you want to keep that all up under the rim, so it doesn't get in the way of those clips, and then you're going to go ahead and clip it back on. And what I usually do is I find whichever one is the top, which for me is going to be this side. Yeah, I guess you can't really see the clips, but there's a clip right here that's way to the side, and then the next one is way down here. Um, that's the top for me. I'm going to connect that one first, pushing it in, and then I'm just going to go around the outside, push it down on the rim, and then I'll uh, just double check by just pulling it straight up on it, and they seem to all be in. So, there you go. And if I would have soldered that, then they would both be working. But they're not. Yep, so, now they're soldered. But, yeah. When, when they're soldered, they hear amazing. Yep. So, there you go. There's how to fix your Beat Studios when uh, one of your gears isn't working. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.